If you're a shy photographer, this video is for you. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, guys. If you are a shy photographer, if you just picked up a camera, if you're still learning how to pose your couples or posing your subject, this video is for you. So let's rewind to a few years back when I first started my photography career, I was super shy. I still am, I still am. I'm not extroverted as many people think, but I am an introverted person. So till this day, I'm very shy, but I have some years of experience dealing with people and knowing exactly what I need to do and the poses that I need to queue up in order to get my subjects or my couples to do the things I want them to do so that way their pictures come out amazing. You're not gonna believe the trick I have for you guys. Wow. 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 And this applies to any photographer. It can be a couples photographer, senior photographer, modeling photographer. If you have one to two subjects in front of your camera, this trick works for anybody. All right, ready to get to the point. What's the trick? Let me know if you go through this too. You grab your camera, you take the photo, and you're getting some cool shots, but you run out of ideas in your head. Now you put the camera down and you're like, oh, what's next? What do I do? Oh my God. And for some odd reason, you get this tunnel vision feeling where you feel like your couple or your subject in front of you is waiting. It's like tick-tock, tick-tock, and you're like, oh my God, I gotta hurry up. I gotta come up with some sort of pose. I gotta come up with some sort of ideas. So cut it out, right? There. First and foremost, they're not rushing. Trust me, they're just waiting for you. They're not worried about how much time you're taking. Steady. You can do this. In your mind, you're running minutes, you're running hours, but in their minds, this is just seconds. They're just also being patient and waiting for you, trust me. The second thing that probably runs through your mind is they think you're unprofessional. You're probably scrambling in your head, you're like, damn, they're gonna think I'm not a good photographer, they're gonna think I'm unprofessional, that I'm unexperienced because I'm taking too long and I can't come up with poses. Nope. Nope, it's not happening. They're not thinking that. No matter how many times you repeat that in your mind, you're not gonna remember that. This is what you're gonna do. Step one, on the day of your session, a few hours beforehand, reformat that memory card. You're going to find inspirational photos. Now, I'm not telling you to copy anybody else's art. You're gonna go to your device, like a cell phone, a computer, or a tablet, and you're gonna search up some inspirational poses. Poses that resonate with you, that resonate with your style, and that resonate with your subject. Step two, once you have a solid six to eight poses, or maybe 10 poses, you're gonna grab your camera with the card already reformatted and ready for your session. You're gonna choose a lens like a 24 millimeter or even a 35 millimeter, and you're going to take a picture of your screen with the poses. Take a photo of each pose. Make sure that you capture a picture of each pose that you wish to capture on your session. Why does this trick work? So if you're shy or if you're new to posing or still learning how to pose your subject, granted, you're gonna get stuck. Have you ever done this during a session when you're done with each photo? Yeah, the term for that is called chimping. You don't wanna be chimping. You don't wanna look at your camera every single time you take a photo. You want to seem professional. You wanna make sure that your settings are accurate and that you're not chimping after each photo that you capture. But here's the secret. You don't wanna pull out your cell phone and look down at it for another pose and say, hold on guys, I'm looking up a pose. So a way to conceal that you're actually looking at pose ideas without looking at your phone is by looking at the back of your camera. They will never know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. They might think you're just reviewing their images that you just captured. So say you have a pose, you capture that pose. All right, so now you're reviewing. All right, guys, wait one sec here. Let me just check these pictures. And what you're really doing is you're gonna see all of the other older pictures that you captured earlier before your session. Step three. So now on the fly, once you complete pose number one, you're gonna go to pose number two. Oh, that's a great photo, guys. All right, you guys ready for the next one? Here we go. So and there goes your pose. Get a few shots of that pose. Wow, you guys look fantastic. All right, ready for the next one? Here we go. That's pose number three. If it's a boudoir session, wow, that pose was fantastic. All right, I have another idea. Here's what we're gonna do. There goes another pose. If it's a senior session, same thing, the same rules apply, but they will never know, and you have it all inside of the camera. That right there was something I did in the beginning of my career, but it will take time. You will get there, I promise you. You will get to the point where you no longer have to take pictures of poses before your session, and they'll just come up in your mind, or you will come up with ideas with your subject during your session. All right. So you might have a session today, tomorrow, this weekend, next week, a month from now. Keep this video in mind, start compiling your pose inspirations, take a picture of them, have them ready for your session, give it a shot, come back to this video, let me know how it went, and let me know if the trick worked for you. Subscribe to this channel to get more tips just like this one. Thanks for watching.